Hello, this is my review for the Lipal 15.6 inch portable display. On the box it does state type C and that's just one of the connection types it supports. There is a mini HDMI input as well and that's how I'm going to be hooking it up in my video demonstration today. But if you're fortunate enough to have a laptop with a USB Type-C port that supports video and audio, then a single cable from your laptop to this display is all you need to use. It will power the display and send the video signal down this single wire. The cable is included for this in the box. You also get an HDMI cable plus an extra USB Type-C to A cable to power this display from a standard USB socket on your computer. These components are required for a more traditional setup. So everything you need is included with the display, which is great. Whatever connection type is needed, it's covered here. Um, they've also dropped in an optional screen protector, which is also quite nice to have. The Li Pao portable display features a high quality, full HD 1080p IPS 60Hz panel encased in a full metal housing. This all weighs just 1.7 pounds. The total external measurements are 365 by 224 millimeters and a mere 8 millimeter thickness. It should be small enough to slip into a bag with your laptop and not weigh you down. This portable display is all about practical convenience, so let me demonstrate how easy it is to set up. Keeping this whole package compact, the protective magnetic cover is also the stand, which we simply fold out and prop up the display, and the two grooves gives you two angle positions. I'm connecting this display to my desktop PC as a second monitor via the mini HDMI, and so we also need to give it some juice through the USB-C power inputs on the right hand side. Modern efficiencies in technology means it runs just off 5 volts and that's enabled me to power it off a spare USB 2 socket from my PC. During my time experimenting with this display, I discovered you don't necessarily need to use the cover as the stand. My compact tablet stand here does the job as well. The fin profile of the display means it should work with most tablet stands. In fact, I found another way to mount the display using a table clamp tablet holder. You'll see later how I made use of this setup in my cramped workspace. I was specifically looking for an alternative solution to locate this display on my desk and this worked perfectly for me. So I thought it'd be useful if I showed you these different ideas, just sharing it as you may find them useful as well. The LiPal display has all the usual menu settings you would expect from a regular desktop monitor. You can make adjustments very easily and quickly using the rocker switch on the side. The menus are laid out very well, it's all very clear and accessible. Next I want to show you the viewing angles of the display and you will see they are excellent. This is an IPS display, it's a premium panel and the image quality is also fantastic. It's as good as my desktop monitor. You could easily have a preconception that a display like this has compromises, but I will honestly tell you, I don't think it does. It simply is in a smaller form factor and equal to a larger desktop monitor in all other aspects. Also, no dead pixels at all. It was just absolutely perfect. such as the tyres going over bumps and curbs. Here's a sweep of my room and you can see it's pretty crammed in.
and with a bit of thought I was able to slip in the Leapal display on the side thanks to the table clamp tablet holder I showed you earlier. And now this Leapal screen has very much become part of my setup which I'm finding to be very useful in my video editing workflow. And this display is also perfect with my Raspberry Pi. One thing I'm not able to show you as I don't have a suitable mobile phone to demonstrate is many mobile phones with USB Type-C connectors will plug directly into the Leapal and mirror the phone display, which is a neat way to watch movies from your mobile on this larger screen. But before I wrap things up here, again with my Raspberry Pi, this time running RetroPie, I'm able to set up a really neat retro gaming station pretty much anywhere because it's such a compact uh, little setup here. Um, I really do love the Leapal display. The screen size is large enough to be useful for practical and entertainment purposes, but small enough to carry around and light enough as well. And uh, yeah, it's really quick to set up and then it's really quickly to break down to put away when I'm done. The image quality is really great, really happy of that, uh, no complaints there. Uh, the speakers are not super loud, though perfectly sufficient in quiet surroundings. But there is a 3.5mm audio jack on the side too, for headphones if that suits you better. So great image quality, great build quality and all the accessories you need to get up and running. You really can't ask for more. A really good piece of hardware basically. Um, I'm really happy with my Leapal 15.6 inch portable display. So I can definitely recommend it if you are shopping for a product like this. You won't be disappointed. I'm not. I think it's great. So uh, excellent stuff. And there you go. That's my review done here. And I hope you found something useful in this coverage. This is the first monitor I've reviewed, so please uh, forgive me if I've missed something that you want to know about. Um, yeah, if there's something else I can help you with, just drop a comment below the video and I'll try and pick it up and answer that. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye bye.